Subscribe to Filmy Mirchi for all what women want episodes and click the bell icon to receive all updates. अच्छा एक बात बताओ आपके हिसाब से लाइफ के सबसे मुश्किल डिसीजन कौन से होते हैं वेल well, हर किसी के लिए ये अलग होता है पर मेरे हिसाब से द हार्डेस्ट डिसीजन इन लाइफ आर नॉट बिटवीन गुड एंड बैड और राइट एंड रॉन्ग बट बिटवीन टू गुड और टू राइट Filmy Mirchi presents Dabar Amla What Women Want co-powered by Cheni Cheni Chai Aaj ka life mein choices kitne bad gaye hain na food delivery aur dating se lekar cabs aur streaming platforms tak aur shayad kyunki choices itne bad gaye hain life mein confusion bhi increase ho gayi hai right well not for everyone hamari aaj ki guest ek aisi actress hai who has been known to make unique life choices chahe wo unki films ho ya phir personal life decisions Please welcome the very beautiful and national award winning actor Kalki Kekla to share her Dabar Amla story of strength. Hello and welcome to the show. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Please. Beautiful. Firstly, congratulations. Thank and you. And such a special face and you're looking glorious. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, Kalki you've always been extremely unconventional in your choices be it your films or your personal life. So, was it like was it like planned or consciously made or you know completely unintentional the way it's played out i think i've just been myself and that happens to be unconventional in the, even from the place of like where i came from how i was born you know i was born in a small town in south india but my parents are french and so i've always had this weird mix of cultures i don't try to go out of my way to be unconventional let's right say. even <laughs> in your films or anything no i think people have now put that label on me that i'm unconventional she'll do something wacky she'll do something yeah. crazy <laughs> but because of your film choices also a, a bit of both i guess yeah. it works both ways what comes my way and also what interests me tends to be something a little bit odd but it's not like i only want to do that i i would love to do like you know a commercial <laughs> film where i get the guy in the end instead of killing him you oh know oh god <laughs> so abhi tum maa banne wali ho so yeah. when you found out that you're going to be a mom what was your reaction I didn't believe it. I went and got another test immediately. But I told my partner guy and he was thrilled. Mm -hmm. I think I took a little while. I took like 2-3 days to just sort of take it in. Okay. Um and you instantly said that okay now I'm you know going to have the baby. Yeah, yeah, but it up. was unexpected. Right. We were planning in maybe a year or two to have kids. Okay. So it was unexpected but definitely we both felt like we we want to go with it. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. A child out of wedlock, I think it's very, very different in this culture. Yeah, and of course, you know how Indian families can get. They're very, yeah. very traditional. Like, what were the family reactions like? I mean, thankfully, both our families are quite uh, unconventional. Also, in terms of they weren't too, uh, you know, they're not too traditional in the sense of having to be married and all of that. Mm. Uh, my mother is like, look, next time you marry, just make sure it's for, for life because yeah. you know I've already divorced once, so she wasn't in a big hurry. Um, and honestly, it's not, it's not like we're against marriage. We we do want to get married. It's just the time hasn't come yet. Right. And I think it should be a conscious decision when we're both happy to do it and when. we can do it in a in a not rushed way of course when you know you have a child out of wedlock i mean there are going to be a lot of like you know societal kind of comments comments <laughs> judgment <laughs> from every side uh huh yeah so how are you planning to deal with it considering you do live in a country like India? i have this magic like superpower which is switching off my mobile phone and not and switching off from social media really i just i just you avoid yeah i just don't read the comments I I feel like if I really need positive criticism in my life it's going to come from the people who know me. Yeah. And I do take that seriously if my family or my friends have some feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know they have also said like it'll be better for the baby if you register your marriage etc. Mm -hmm. So you know we are looking into all those things because it does matter how the child grows up what nationality does the child have these are all things that we're still working out yeah yeah but of course to to read like negative comments on social media is just not like i'm done with that yeah you don't bother <laughs> so kalki you're still friends with anurag yes uh despite being divorced and i think that's quite an amazing thing so how did that decision come about i don't think it it just sort of happened organically it took time we did take a lot of time apart in the beginning um but ultimately i think we have respect for each other's work and 
you know, the personality can, you can still love a person and, and not be able to live with them. And I think, you know, we were both able to recognize that. And also, it's so much about timing, right? I feel sometimes you're both just on very different time zones. Like, yeah. uh, maybe I was very young and he was much older. And there were just, the timings weren't correct. We wanted different things at this yeah, at different at that time, point. at that point. So I think that that makes a big difference. Regret is a common human feeling. <clears throat> Do you have any regrets about any choices that you've made? Of course. I'm sure I have many regrets. Some of the movies I've done. Really? Yeah, but I'm not going to say which uh, ones. <laughs> In the sense that I've known on day three of shoot that this is going to go bad. Oh, really? <laughs> you've so not been on the set like that? No, no, of course. I'm also quite, I think actors are instinctive. Yeah, right? yeah. You, you know, know you know when things are going wrong. Um, but I've also like, there's regrets like, I wish I'd spend more time with my grandparents before they passed away. Um, uh, you know, I feel like now I'm a little more conscious of spending family time with parents yeah, as they get as older. They yeah. But no other regrets. No, I think you learn so much from your mistakes also. Yeah. I think I'm quite happy with the journey I've had. Yeah. So Kalki, you have French and Indian roots. So has being half Caucasian woman living in India, how has that been and how has it impacted your life choices? I mean, I think it's always been a little bit funny for me because I've been the odd one out just in terms of the way I look mm -hmm. in growing up in South India. But it also meant that I kind of fit in many circles. Like I could go home and speak French with my parents. Then I would go uh, on the streets and speak Tamil with like the, the people, the kids in my village. Fluent Peri Tamil you can yeah, speak. Yeah, I only. was from a village called Periyamadalya Chavadi. So if you grow up there, you will speak Don't Tamil. Don't ask me to say that. Kalki <laughs> Kekla is easy to say <laughs> compared yeah. to this. And, uh, and then I went to a boarding school in Uti, which was a very proper British boarding school. Okay, um, which one was Protestant it? Protestant school called uh, Hebron School. Where, you know, we learnt lots of hymns and all nice, of that. Nice, the choir. So, yeah, the choir and stuff. So I got really exposed to such different um, cultures, I guess. And yeah. it made me feel, maybe that's why I chose acting or why I naturally went into acting because I'm constantly changing. Yeah. You know, uh, not just language, but also your, your, the way you behave with mm -hmm. different people and different groups of people changes. Yeah, so that's help you, helped you in fact. Yeah, I think so. So now it's time for a little game. Some choices. Okay. Since your topic is life choices. We'd want to know some of your choices. I'm going to just, you know, throw stuff at you and you have to obviously decide and pick one. It's like, okay, fine. Yeah. Multiple choice. Yes. Okay. So films or theatre? Theatre. Theatre over film? I mean, it depends on the check, yeah. I mean, obviously, if, 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 if. If I get a good check, I'd rather do a film. But huh. if I was paid the same amount, same amount. I think I would choose rather theater. be on stage. Yeah, I love the, the you know, like that uh, that butterfly feeling and that instant being in front of an audience. Yeah, is, I don't know, it has something giving you an instant reaction. Yeah, also, right? yeah, yeah. So books or music? Music, music. Yes, of course. Zindagi na milegi dobara, or ye jawani hai diwani. Ye jawani hai diwani. Really? I, I loved Zindagi. I love both those films. For me, my life changed after Ye Jawani yeah. because suddenly I was like um, a lovable person. Yeah, <laughs> after Zindagi, character. the character was like such a, uh, you know, Natasha needs therapy a little bit. So like yeah. at, after that character, I think Aditi was a, a very yeah, bubbly, more bubbly, happy. bubbly, normal. Yeah, yeah. So you enjoyed that. Yeah. Made in Heaven or Sacred Games? Ooh, tough choice. Mm, sacred Games. But do you mean for myself or for the show? No, like for you, what do you prefer? Like maybe Sacred Games. Sacred Games. Sacred Games. But as to, in terms of the, sh the shows, I actually like Made in Heaven more. Yeah, no, of course. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen Sacred Games too, so I can't comment on that. Yeah, but now you have to pick one. So if you had to just pick one, like just, you know, at the top of your head. Sacred Games. Sacred Games. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> you enjoy doing it more? Yes. That's yes. just role. the character mm -hmm. I enjoyed doing more. Okay. Yeah. Devdi or Gully Boy? Devdi, first love. Yeah, first film, and we yeah. loved you in it. Thank you. It's so good. So we'll go with Devdi. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Kalki. It's been amazing 
chatting with you and you know um, our show is all about you know power of women and you are a very very powerful uh, influence on our listeners on your viewers and thank you so much for coming pleasure Hi guys hope you are liking my show agar aapko mujhse koi baat bolni ho to please comment below